You deserve my worship. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve my praise. Oh, Lord, adoration and glory belongs to you always.
Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, and we are certainly glad and excited about the fact that he is alive, the fact that he is large and in charge, the fact that he is on the throne, the, th the fact that we know him as the Lord of Lords, and we know him as the King of Kings, the fact that even as we pray today, our Lord is going to be interceding for us even as we pray. I'm mean, just excited about who God is in our lives. Hallelujah <laughs> and praise God. I want to welcome you to this time of prayer today. I want to welcome you to the prayer room. I want to welcome you to join in and pray. Don't just listen to me pray. Don't just listen to me pray. Come on, agree with me in prayer. Agree with me in prayer with your amens. Agree with me in prayer with you even sharing and repeating some of the things that I am saying. And as the Holy Spirit leads you, let's all pray together. And watch this, watch this. Even if our phraseologies are different here and there, guess what? The Lord will not be confused by that. He understands our prayer language. He understands our petitions to him he understands and he will hear all of our prayers at the same time listen we pray on one accord when we pray in jesus name we pray on one accord when we understand it's one lord and it's one faith and it's one immersion or one baptism we pray on one accord knowing that jesus is the way the truth and the life amen we pray knowing that we come to the father through jesus christ hey like what we're doing share on your social media comment as well uh, subscribe comment to christ is risen respond to that uh, comment and give us your i am statement uh for for the moment i would say for the day i guess but for the moment because you may be in a different space five minutes from now uh, also give us that one thing that christ did for you the lord has done for you today give us that as well and listen as i go to john chapter 16 verse 27 in our God's Purpose for Your Life uh, book, that's the scripture reading for today, John chapter 16, verse 27. The title of the devotional is Watch for Love. Hey, be on the lookout, if you will, uh, for uh, love, if you will. Watch for God's love. John chapter 16, verse 27, we'll read that, do our model prayer, then look at the press starter and start with that. And today we're praying for those who are unemployed or even any kind of challenges as it relates to your employment and your finances and things like that, we want to just pray and lift you to the Lord. All right, can we do that? John chapter 16, verse 27 says, For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came forth from God. Let me read that one more time. For the Father himself loves you. And why? Because you love me, as Jesus speaking, and have believed that I, Jesus says, came forth from God. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for loving us. We rejoice in all the ways you care for us, and they are very many. So we have much to rejoice and praise and be thankful about. We come to you, Lord, today in prayer. And, Lord, our assignment right now is to pray for those who are unemployed. Pray for those who are looking for work, who can work, who are able to work, but right now cannot find work. Right now that door has not opened unto them. Right now there is a blockage or a barrier there. And maybe those who are, work, who are working, Lord, who are employed but 
underemployed. I know there's a push right now for the minimum wage to be lifted, and maybe somebody's right below that, the minimum wage, even right now, they're right at the minimum. And Lord, they need a little increase. They're working the hours, they're putting in the work, they're doing the effort, they are laying down the labor, but they're not being rewarded. I pray for their increase. I pray, God, that uh, for those who have just given up, Lord, and who are very kind of weighted down by everything that's going on, by those who have bills that are continuing to pile up, and it just seems like they're not going to crawl out of it, and it's caused a great weight upon them and upon their families, even a depression. Uh, Lord, I pray for them right now. I pray for their faith, God. I pray for their patience, God. I pray for their passion. I pray for their eyes to be open for opportunities. I pray, Lord, that their passion will be enlightened or, or heightened as they will continue to go forth. I know, God, sometimes we're just a moment away or just a step away, just a turn away from something great and grand happening in our lives. So, Lord, I pray that they would stay focused and go forward in the name of Jesus, God. Pray, Lord, for the wisdom to handle well even the little we may have, to handle it well, you Lord, and to guard it and to keep it and to in invest it wi wisely, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray always for the village to be kind. Lord, I remember in the first church in the book of Acts that those that had came and shared with those that did not have. And what a blessing it was, Lord, as they came. Some even sold lands and that kind of thing. So I'm praying for those who are being just overly, Lord, have, have, have increased and they're doing well, maybe even prospering even more during this time of, of uh, uncertainty in our country, in our world, that they would find it on their hearts, Lord, to pay a bill for a brother, <laughs> maybe slide some ends uh, to a sister, uh, God, just to be helpful and kind and loving in that way, even a gift card for some groceries or something like that, God. Lord, I'm not saying hide these people. Matter of fact, put these people in, the, in our paths. Let us see who they are, that we might be a blessing to them, God. We know, Lord, that we can't beat you giving. And, Lord, we know that you don't bless us just to bless us. You bless us that we might be a blessing even to others. I'm pray, praying, God, that somehow the economy would get better that jobs will come back and will be created, Lord, that people who need skills will be trained in the areas and get these skills and the know-how and these tools to go out and the education that's necessary even to make a difference, Father. We give it over to you, God. We know that uh, before you gave Adam a woman, you gave him work. You gave, before you gave him a lady, you gave him some labor in the garden. So we understand how important work is to you, Lord. Jesus, you even said, I must be about my father's work or business. Lord, we know if we don't work, we do not eat. So, Lord, we are praying and we know we are made uh, to labor and work in that sense. So we just thank you right now, God. We count it as done. We're going to continue to pray. God in this area. We know you're going to continue to bless in this area. Lord, I thank you for those who are, who are being blessed in this area and prospering in this area and, and increasing even in this area, Father. We thank you for that. We ain't hating on them. We thank you for that. In the name of Jesus, we pray today, God, for the miracle and the breakthrough. Thank you for those who are on the line and praying with me now in these very areas as we join together. Some who are in these areas, who are praying. We just pray your blessing upon them even right now in the name of Jesus. Give us the strength to continue to go, Lord, as we are called to do it. And we pray all of this and give all of this, submit all of this in Jesus' name, led by the Spirit. Hallelujah and amen. Thank you, saints, again on this Friday for hanging out uh, with uh, us and praying with us. Us. All right, go forward in the name of the Lord. Have a wonderful Friday, the rest of your Friday, Saturday, your weekend. Uh, join me on Saturday night if you can at 930 usually. I'm on my personal Facebook page just getting ready for worship. Join me in that and we'll be praying. Uh, that'll be a short time and a short prayer with one another. See you on Sunday morning, 10 o'clock a.m. for our time of worship in the Lord. Thank God uh, for you and I love you with the love of the Lord. All right. God bless you. God keep you. Hugs and kisses.
to you all. <laughs> bye bye. Acts 1 and 8 tells us, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon us. Yeah. Then Philippian tells me that I can do all things with Christ, which strengthens me. Yes, sir. Uh, but 2 Timothy told me, uh, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, uh, but of power yeah. uh, in a sound mind. Somebody needs your power. I'm going to keep on praying till the power come down. I'm going to keep right on praying till the power come down. to the room.